welcome everybody and uh, thank you very much for the possibility to uh, be a part of uh, this session. I will uh, speak about uh, uh, the special uh, deposits uh, in rural, rural settlements of the Hungarian uh, Kingdom uh, from the 11th to the uh, 14th uh, century. Uh, this is uh, more or less coincides with the, with the, with the time frame of the rule of the Arpad dynasty. Uh, uh, I say uh, Hungarian kingdom and, and uh, not, not that uh, uh, all these de deposits were, were made by Hungarians because naturally it was a multi-ethnic uh, state and uh, as you will see, see, see later in, in some cases it's, it's possible to, uh, to, 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 to see some kind of deposits uh, as uh, ethnical markers of, uh, uh, of, of certain uh, settlements. Uh, so uh, the first uh, uh, such finds uh, emerged uh, already uh, at the beginning of uh, the archaeological investigation of uh, rural peasant uh, settlements in Hungary. Uh, these uh, only started in the 1950s because, be, be, because uh, before of that era, uh, 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 archaeological research into medieval uh, peasantry in Hungary was very sporadical. Uh, before it, uh, all, all, most of the researchers were concentrating on, on, on churches, uh, religious uh, uh, buildings, and royal castles. And uh, from the 1950s, uh, partly because of uh, uh, ide ideological pressure from the uh, socialist uh, uh, state, uh, it became important to, to start to deal with the material <coughs> culture of the so-called working classes. Uh, altogether, it had a positive uh, impact on the, on, the, on the research. The first uh, uh, such uh, finds were found by the uh, so-called for forefather of, uh, of uh, uh, this richer, uh, researcher Ishtam Meri, uh, he was who uh, first found uh, a rooster with a broken neck uh, put into one of the post holes of a medieval semi subterranean uh, dwelling house. And he, he imme immediately uh, identified it as a building deposit. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Later, later on, it, it became almost al automatical if uh, somebody found at a medieval ruler settlement something which seems to be strange, seemed to be some kind of sacrifice, it automatically became identified as a building de deposit, even if there were no uh, traces of uh, being a building at the site at all, or and especially and sometimes even in cases when. When, uh, when local people just came to the museum, they carried a pot, uh, <coughs> what they found, there was a, a, an iron knife and some, some bone fr fragments inside it. And, uh, uh, and the archaeologists uh, usually automatically presumed that it was also a building uh, deposit, uh, which was not correct, as you, as you will see it later. For example, this was the very case in... Oh, I, just, I will just show, show my finger. Uh, in the case of the Yasago find, uh, uh, local uh, people just, just, just found uh, this pot, uh, a few uh, chicken bones uh, and a few egg pieces uh, were found uh, inside it. Uh, and especially in the case of Kesthei Dobogu, where uh, no less than, than seven uh, such uh, pots were found, uh, there were no real traces of any building around them. But uh, uh, Kari uh, Chagi uh, immedi immedi immediately suggested that, that there uh, m must have been some kind of uh, superficial building which, which left no traces, and these were the uh, building deposits uh, belonging to, to them. Uh, some of these finds are very wrongly documented. We have just a few photos. There is an, an egg as well. It's, it's very common to, to have iron uh, pieces inside these pots. In, in, the, in the case of the Fennec find, uh, arrowheads and knife parts, and uh, uh, in this case, a, a, a big uh, nail. Uh, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, there are uh, 
blue furs. It's it's very rare, but uh, this this is a, a blue uh, fur nearby <coughs> uh, chicken bones and the bubble chickens. Uh, it's interesting because uh, uh, blue, uh, we have later ethnographical da data uh, that there were folk uh, beliefs about that uh, if you if you put up a blue fur somewhere on you or on a little baby, it can defend uh, him from being cursed uh, with a blue-eyed uh, by a blue-eyed witch. So probably uh, putting a blue fur inside the the, the pot uh, could have a defending. Uh, effect against the uh, witches. Moving on. So uh, for, uh, the main questions which arise uh, by these uh, definitions are uh, that uh, we first have to uh, uh, investigate that exactly what kind of items uh, became deponated and uh, can any kind of pattern or general customs be observed in their positioning inside the settlements or inside the houses, if indeed they were found uh, inside houses, sometimes they were, as we will see. And uh, what kind of archaeological and ethnographical parallels might be found? Uh, exact archaeological uh, parallels of, this, of these customs outside the Carpathian Basin uh, are, part, are practically non, non existent. There, there will be one example I, I will deal with that at the very end of the uh, presentation, but uh, uh, partial parallels, naturally, there, there are, and I, I will uh, speak about a few. And uh, in the end, the main question emerges what could have been the purpose or the purposes of uh, such uh, rituals? Because as we will see, even if uh, formally uh, two uh, rituals uh, seem to be identical uh, from the uh, archaeological remains, their, fun their, their function can be, can be, it still can be uh, different. I, I, I try to, to collect the uh, uh, materials. Uh, don't be frightened by, the, by, uh, by, uh, by, <laughs> by this picture. Uh, I, I will deal, deal with, the, with the main things. Uh, is that uh, the most important thing is that uh, uh, eggs are very common. Mostly, mostly chicken eggs. And all, all as, as well, chicken, chicken bones uh, as well. Uh, these most likely connect somehow with uh, fertility uh, beliefs. Uh, there are very few cases, but there are cases when uh, bones of uh, uh, water birds, or or uh, in the American case even an egg, egg of a spoonbill uh, was uh, found, and uh, it was suggested in that case that uh, that uh, it uh, it it even can have traces back to Bronze Age mythologies when when the when the when the wall, wall creation was from egg eggs of uh, water birds, perhaps it's, it's a bit stretchy, but, but, but anyway, the, the eggs must, must be uh, the symbol of fertility and uh, creation. Uh, uh, most of uh, the sacrificed uh, animals are either hens or <coughs> roosters, uh, and, uh, but uh, there, are, uh, uh, there are unique cases uh, which, is, which are difficult to explain. I did not include the uh, the few years before excavated uh, examples at the village of Kana because those seem to be very special and a very local thing because no no less than uh, fourteen uh, uh, pots were found inside several buildings and uh, mostly uh, several types of fishes and sometimes even frogs were were were, were inside those but uh, those seem to be. Th those are so unique inside the Carpathian Basin that that seem to be some kind of lo local uh, part of some kind of lo local belief system, which is which can be hardly identified uh, anymore. Uh, let's go back uh, for a while. Uh, uh, here is another special case, uh, partially because uh, here can be seen uh, a part of a of a wet stone. Uh, stones uh, are uh, also can be find. Uh, Sometimes ju just 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 very uh, small ones. It has, uh, in my opinion, the uh, the usage of uh, wet stone uh, can can have a, a connection also with the with the fertility of of, of earth. Uh, this case is very interesting because uh, even though it was found inside the building, it was uh, there was no additional hole uh, dug for it, and uh, neither was in uh, in. In any constructional part, it was simply lying on the floor of the 
uh, dwelling house. So, uh, so uh, the only explanation can be that uh, uh, that uh, the, that uh, this uh, special definition was was placed after the usage of the building was finished, and uh, uh, it's possible that uh, uh, refuel ref refuelment uh, was uh, taken taken place uh, when the locals left that place of the village. Uh, Uh, here I, we have uh, sometimes very little da data about the orientation of uh, the findings compared to buildings or, compa or, or compared to, to uh, the maps of, uh, of uh, villages. Uh, in the case of Santiago Falo, there were three finds and each of them were at the southeastern corner uh, of the house. Uh, it was uh, their excavator, Andrea Polish. Uh, thought and she is most likely right that uh, it uh, it cannot be uh, simply by chance. So the, the the choose of the southwestern corner must must have had some some kind of meaning. We do not know how, but uh, uh, but uh, later uh, sim similar uh, uh, finds emerge where but also the southwestern or, or or western parts were used, and such was the case as well in the. Uh, uh, above mentioned uh, secondary definition of the Jonah Falta. And uh, if you look, look closely to the uh, map of the Kestel Lubago site uh, excavation, I will just explain briefly. So uh, here, here was the uh, medieval village, and all the, and the, the, the C and the E uh, markers mark uh, the location of the deponations and uh, uh, this ditch most likely marked the border uh, of the village uh, but but the, the last houses were, were found here so in this case it's possible that uh, the two uh, deponations uh, here which were not inside buildings one of them was, was just a part of a vessel with some charred grain inside it the, the other is a Complete vessel with, with, with again an egg and a nail inside it. It's possible that these were some kind of board, border guards here, uh, and uh, uh, together with the ditch, these could have somehow guarded the, the, the settlement from the outside world. The ditch physically, uh, and uh, these on, a mo on, an, on an other kind of magical uh, level. Okay. Uh, I just uh, uh, in these uh, parallels, uh, even the, they seem to be part stretching because they, they are from the middle Danube region, bronze, uh, late Bronze Age and Latin Age uh, settlement. But uh, uh, Peter Traksche uh, has noticed that uh, uh, at numerous settlements uh, there is also a pattern at the uh, Iron Age settlements there that uh, inside the houses, inside the post halls, generally. Uh, the also the southwestern mm -hmm. corner uh, was chosen uh, for the uh, definitions. He, he he couldn't come up with a solution either, and it's a completely different era and and partially different re region. But uh, uh, the similarity of the of of the custom is uh, is still astonishing. It is uh, Traxxas. Uh, uh, data about the orientations. So these are either southwestern orientations or or the exact opposite, which is uh, likely also isn't uh, isn't just a co coincidence. Uh, it's it's just another uh, interesting uh, parallel from a Viking age of uh, longhands where 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 also the uh, uh, southwestern quarter was used just nearby the. The entrance for uh, for a, a tower of uh, detonation, and also uh, different example from, from Finland. It's not visible, but the uh, egg egg pieces were also found uh, nearby. These uh, the lead closing of which which was just at the, at the uh, southeastern uh, corner of a, of a huge uh, building, and it could be uh, dated uh, by uh, C fourteen to this uh, era. Now back to, uh, to uh, the question of uh, refillment uh, processes. Uh, here can be seen the uh, Chonar Palota case, uh, 
uh, before uh, the vessel was uh, picked up. You can see that that it's it's literally uh, on the on the floor, uh, not inside the post hole, which is which is which is here. So there's there's no way that uh, 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 it was placed there uh, after the building, because nobody would just just go and around it by by, by uh, using the uh, the house. Uh, there are a few uh, examples inside the Ang Anglo-Saxon settlements of uh, similar uh, uh, depositions, uh, which, uh, uh, by the opinion of Helena Hamero, also show uh, marks of uh, the re refilment uh, uh, processes. So, so, so then, then most likely when the village site was was left, uh, they not, not just live there. Sometimes they the uh, uh, the dead dwelling houses, but uh, uh, some kind of uh, ritual might have been taken place together when several items were, were placed placed uh, inside it during the uh, This leads us to an uh, other uh, interesting element: the the placement of horse schools inside the uh, buildings in in Hungary. Uh, the first uh, uh, such horse school was found by Istvan Meri as well, uh, and uh, he, this is, you know, and he rightly identified it, uh, that uh, it, it might have been put uh, to the uh, top of a semi-subterranean building. Uh, it, it has very interesting links with, uh, with the pagan customs before Christianization of the country, because uh, in the 19th, uh, between 19th and 10th century Hungarians, uh, Horse burial was a was a common thing, and as uh, Christianity arrived, there uh, there are laws, especially the laws of uh, King Saint Ladislaus, which which forbade the eating of horse meat, most likely because it, it was uh, a kind of pagan sacrifice. Uh, if if one cut down horse and and he ate its uh, meat, and uh, slowly uh, the the horse burials did disappear from the Christian cemeteries. Sometimes there are few few horse bones uh, put uh, inside Christian graves, but then it it, uh, it disappeared as well. And uh, the the putting of, of horse heads to the top of uh, uh, the uh, semi subterranean buildings of, of or already uh, <coughs> Christian people might have been a, a late uh, remembrance of uh, uh, pagan uh, worldview. In some cases, it's very interesting. That's a, that's a different example here. Are the uh, horse uh, pieces of the horse horse school. Uh, these uh, horse schools sometimes uh, arise very in a very intact uh, station, even though they are easily breakable. So, uh, uh, so in my in my opinion, it's 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 also a possibility that uh, these might have been as well uh, uh, placed there in uh, as part of the refinement process. So uh, when the when the village moved, uh, the house were, was torn down. They put down the horse school from the top, uh, but they didn't throw it away. Uh, but but instead laid it down uh, to the uh, <coughs> to the remains of the dwelling uh, house. Okay. Uh, there are a few ethnographical parallels uh, to it, uh, especially in Mongolia, but but also uh, among the uh, Caucasus. Uh, no, nomadic uh, steppe people uh, like uh, to preserve the head of uh, of beloved horses. Uh, in case of the Mongolians, uh, uh, these sites are, are called Ovo, where where they uh, keep uh, the horse school and 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 show respect to it sometimes by by, by putting colored uh, strings uh, up to it. And there are a few examples when uh, in Hungary when. Uh, that the horse schools are not uh, uh, excavated inside uh, buildings, but inside uh, separate pits, and it's it's possible that uh, these pits uh, show the end of the life cycle of perhaps similar uh, 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 processes. Yeah. The the third part. <coughs> Which partly interconnects with the magical pots uh, are dog sacrifices. Uh, these uh, these uh, sometimes are, are are found just inside ditches, but uh, it's very common uh, that in the filament of old ovens, uh, complete either complete or or uh, 
uh, or sometimes uh, half cutted uh, dog skeletons uh, can be found. And uh, I've included this case, it's very interesting. No less than four uh, such uh, vessels were uh, found. And uh, into each one, uh, uh, the skull of a be beheaded dog was, was, was pushed uh, into and then uh, uh, dig. Uh, in this case, the question arises that uh, uh, what uh, what kind of belief systems could be co co to, to be connected to the dogs? We have only one written source about uh, the pagan era of the Hungarians, a, a, a letter of uh, Archbishop uh, Teltmar, Archbishop of, of he was an Ar Archbishop of, of uh, Salzburg, and uh, he wrote a letter to the Pope in which he was speaking about that who who bad people the Mo Moravians were because. Even though the Moravians are formally Christian, as, as he is telling, they they allied with the Hungarians, and uh, during this alliance, uh, they took oaths to to dogs, wolves, and other horrible uh, things. Uh, the, mo uh, the, the interesting part in it is not not if he was right or, or about the Moravians because. Naturally, it's a political letter. He wants to explain the Pope that why, why it was the fault of the Moravians and not that of him that the uh, Hungarian tribes became, became so strong in the area. Uh, but uh, if, uh, but uh, if uh, there is some kind of truth behind it, then it, can, it might be suggested that uh, uh, early um, amongst early Hungarians uh, there might have been a custom to take an oath uh, after uh, either a wolf or a dog sacrifice. And in any case, most likely the, the dog uh, uh, was was there instead of a wolf, which much, much, must have been much more difficult to uh, uh, to carry to the place of the house. Uh, but uh, we have much more written evidence about the Cumans or, or Kipchaks, <coughs> other name, uh, whom have uh, settled into the Hungarian kingdom in, in great numbers uh, during the uh, 13th century because of the Mongolian part, uh, invasion of the Russian steppes. And uh, uh, it's, it's very well documented that among the Kipchaks uh, it was a common belief uh, 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 to <coughs> adore wolves as, as gods and as well to make uh, uh, dog sacrifices. We, we know uh, a very special case when uh, the Hungarian king, Bela IV, uh, made a marriage uh, between his son, Prince Stefan, and uh, uh, a Kipchak uh, uh, Prince Elizabeth, uh, that uh, after the Christian ceremony, uh, a dog was uh, sacrificed uh, as well, because uh, the, the Kipchaks wanted that uh, it, it, it must have been made because it was part of their uh, marriage customs. So uh, it's difficult to decide that uh, if uh, that if uh, at a rural settlement uh, remains of a dog sacrifice appear, that uh, can it be connected to the Kipchaks, or is it uh, 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 just a, a later uh, a remembrance of, of uh, previous Hungarian pagan beliefs? In the case of, uh, of uh, the Chengara site, uh, the answer is easy, because at the same site uh, was, uh, was excavated the, uh, the very uh, rich grave of a Cuman uh, uh, chieftain, so in, in, the, in that case, it, 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 it must have been the local Kipchak people who sacrificed these guys, these dogs. Uh, another uh, example of uh, refinement, uh, it's an almost complete clay cauldron, which was found uh, inside the refinement of a semi-subterranean building at Chanakot. So, uh, altogether, uh, in my opinion, even though uh, I, I have not deal, deal with that, but uh, uh, similar pots are sometimes found uh, inside churches and even monastical buildings. So in uh, uh, some cases, uh, they have uh, they they must play different roles. But uh, in the case of ru rural, but, but in the case of rural supplements, uh, these uh, must have been connected uh, to the life cycle of uh, such a. Uh, because uh, uh, 
there, there is a time when the settlement leaves. And later, uh, these settlements were, were moving. We, we, we know it uh, even from the uh, royal laws, because laws were made that, uh, about that how far a Hungarian village might go away from the church to, to which it, it belonged, because it was important that uh, the, all the people had to go to the church uh, every Sunday. Uh, it's an early 20th century picture from, from, from Serbia, from a movie, The uh, Wooden House, but it, uh, it must have been similar. Uh, the the more uh, the the most important wooden material must have been collected from the houses and they moved on and sometimes perhaps returned and uh, uh, and such a sacrificial processes might have taken place both uh, when a new settlement was created or either after it because uh, uh, these might have given to the land fertility. Uh, because after it, the, the site of the, of the previous village was, was, was grazed and then reused as agricultural territory and finally uh, the village might have even uh, returned. So uh, 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 we can see that the early medieval cyclic are agriculture just for the peasantry to periodical movement and uh, uh, such depositional practices, if they, if they can be related to the periodical abandonment of settlements, could form part of agricultural cause to sacred fertility of the soil for the future. Uh, and uh, I left the uh, most interesting parallel from outside Hungary uh, to the left. Uh, this was uh, found in Dalmatia, in, in Croatia, and the a uh, publisher, uh, a Croatian archaeologist, Ante Milosevic himself, uh, is on the opinion that, that it, it must have been some kind of uh, sign of some kind of ethnographical influence from the Hungarian kingdom because he has found no uh, parallels to it inside uh, uh, Croatia or, or Dalmatia. Uh, these were found inside this very prestigious uh, building, as kind of a building sacrifice, again, a, a whetstone, uh, uh, pieces of egg. And two and two uh, vessels. Uh, perhaps it uh, perhaps it, it might be a stretch to to connect it to, to some kind of ethnical Hungarian influence because even though the Hungarian king officially was the overlord or lord of the territory, uh, he lived very far away, and it's and it's difficult to to imagine that any kind of cultural influence of of a peasant of Hungarian peasants might have influence on. The, on the uh, coast of the uh, Adriatic Sea, so uh, if so, so except the if, except the case of if if uh, if similar such finds will uh, reappear, uh, I might not, not make that connection. But but Mr. Uh, Milosevic made, but uh, it's interesting to say that. To be specific. Yes. And, uh, thank you.